Hey guys, it's Jay Calderon for 12rounder.com, and I'm here giving you this week's quick picks. Uh, not a lot of action, but there's a couple of cards that are of some interest. In uh, Germany, of course, we have cruiserweight titleist Marco Huck's defense against Italian Mirko Larghetti. If you want that prediction, you can check out the description for the link to the prediction on 12rounder.com. And in the co-featured bout of the evening, you have heavyweight Dennis Boitsov coming back against Timur Masafarov, I believe is how you say his name. This is uh, Boitsov trying to bounce back after the Alex Leopay defeat. Um, I'm going Boitsov here, obviously. I think, you know, if good matchmaking prevails here, obviously he should be the favorite. I'm favoring him by about 75%. The 25% that I'm not giving him is primarily because, you know, he was in a tough fight. You never know if he might have some sort of lingering feelings or effects because of that loss. But barring something like that, or Timor just being significantly better than I would have to assume, considering, the you know, the little footage that I've seen on him, uh, to be truthful. If he is better than what I've seen, then, you know, anything could happen. But barring something along those lines, I think Dennis comes back with a win and, uh, you know, begins to try and put his career back on track. Same night, Saturday, in Las Vegas, we have super, middle, super middleweight, excuse me, Jaleon Love taking on Rogelio Medina. Um, you know, Love is an interesting character. He himself, I interviewed him uh, a little bit back, and he himself admitted that if there was a division between middleweight and super middleweight, that's where he would probably feel most comfortable. That's what he said at the time, in any event. And so there's always that factor of might he be undersized, might he not like, you know, the punches at the weight, shall we say. You never know, and super middleweight, you know, it's getting up there in weight, meaning anything could happen. Most fighters at 168 and up can punch at least a little bit. There's just a lot of weight, relatively speaking, to those punches, so they're going to have some effect. That being said, I still favor Love. I'm going to give him a 60% uh, clip here. I think he'll probably get the job done, likely by decision. But uh, it's a relatively interesting fight, you know, all things considered. On the undercard there, we have uh, Baru Jack coming against, uh, uh, coming back against Jason Escalera. This is uh, Jack's return after his own defeat that happened at the hands of Derek Edwards. And on paper, it seems like a very typical comeback fight. Escalera's not, you know, that, that well-known. He's not necessarily a world-beater by any means, you know, in, in, in that respect. But at the same time... That's effectively who Edwards was, you know, veteran fighter, not known to necessarily, you know, flip over too many apple carts, but at the same time he had the ability to, and it was one single shot early in a fight, caught him cold, and Jack was finished. So, you know, there's always that level of intrigue, and Escalera has, you know, a couple losses, one by um, knockout and has a draw, and he's... You know, he's not the most experienced fighter in the world by any means, but that being said, he does have some punching ability against inferior opposition, granted, but he can bang a little bit. So there is that concern and worry there, and you never know, again, what sort of lingering effects might take place for Jack in his first comeback fight since the loss. So, you know, it's there's always that bit of trickiness to it in, in regards to making a prediction. That being said, going with smart money here and saying Jack takes care of business probably after six seven rounds gets the stoppage but again anything could happen i'm giving him probably a 55 to 65 percent clip in terms of how confident i am with that pick but again when someone's coming back after the first defeat especially when it's in the first round like that you never know so obviously we'll have to see of course i want to hear your picks your predictions tell me how you think it might go what might be the cause the effects all that sort of stuff and of course, be sure to comment on that in uh, you know below the video. And of course, hit me up on Twitter at 12 Rounder Boxing. Visit 12rounder.com and uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. And uh, enjoy the fights.